Uh, what's cringy in 2021? Why is my voice fucking disappearing? I want to sock this monitor in the fine face. Cringe. I'm just gonna type in cringe. How is it going, guys? Drew Peacock here, back with another episode of Men That Are Cringier Than Fortnite Kids. Today, we're looking at the utter garbage can of Instagram car content, taking a look at what some people seem as content. We're looking at just straight up cringe it can be people that think depression is a character trait or a style a lifestyle like <laughs> you know what i'm just gonna be sad it's people like that or just people that might be blind one way or another but either way today we're being a little toxic it's okay you guys like toxic drew apparently according to one of my instagram stories so we're just gonna go at this and just drill these people we're just drilling them i'm tired of seeing this lazy ass boring shit and i'm tired of people just saying respect all builds and letting everyone in even if they put minimal effort into their car i understand not everyone has a fucking silver spoon up their ass but it doesn't mean that you can be a lazy piece of trash and not work hard and take pride in your stuff anyways Without further ado, let's dive right in. By the way, if you guys see any of these clips, you want to tag me in them, you want to flame up one of your buddies, maybe your buddy is getting a little bit too cringe, tag me in one of his things that might end up in a video, maybe not, but at underscore 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 Drew Peacock, we're about to hit 110,000 followers. Thumbs up for that. Uh, but anyways, let's dive right in. All right, this first one. Um, I don't know why it's in like 240p. Let me refresh. Maybe if I refresh, it'll look a little bit better. Nope, still in like 240p. So he's he's recording this on a Nintendo DS. It says it's the raindrops for me with like a tearing emoji. I don't know. We're not on my phone, so I can't tell if he's an Android user or it's just my computer. Anyways, let's take a look. Remember when we were kids saying, "I wish I had a car like that." Look at us now. Couple issues with that, mister. The cool cars that you were talking about, I don't think you were talking about a, a Camry. I, I I doubt you were seeing the, the 99 Camry roll down the street and be like, fuck. Well, you would have been a kid, so you'd be like, frick or fudge. That shit's hard, bro. I want to own one of those, but newer when I grow up. I doubt you were looking at the Camrys like that. I'm sure you were looking at every other little sports car that little Timmys love, like Camaros, Mustangs, and whatever. Anything with a two-door, little kids get bricked up over. I probably shouldn't be talking about stuff like that, but whatever. I doubt you were looking at the Camry. That being said, we can't even see your freaking car. We can't even tell what it is. Uh, the audio says something like, what does he say? Remember when we were kids saying, I wish I had a car like that. Look at us now. Remember how when we were kids saying, I wish I had a car like that. We can't even see your car. We can't even see it. We see some headlights. We see, I think, what what is rain. And then your hazards are on. You just fucking pulled over in the middle of a street and took a cringy ass video of your Toyota Camry. Good job. I hope you like that 60,000 mile powertrain warranty that comes along with that 30 MPG. Very cool car, man. I'm sure you get all the ladies with that bad boy right there. What, what's with all these fucking hashtags to camry hub is that even a thing i want to click on that i'm a little i'm a little interested in that now i want to join the camry club wow that is a thing wow people buy carbon wheels for their camry bro just buy a better car if you want to spend a thousand dollar on a fucking wheel put an extra thousand down on like a four-cylinder mustang it'd be even cooler than this god people are really trying out here i mean the camry looks fine but i just can't imagine wasting my minimum wage money on a fucking camry can't imagine that couldn't be me all right, let's move on. All right, this one says dope or nope. What's it going to be? Is it going to be dope, guys? I'm I'm waiting to see. Probably not. Probably going to be garbage. I think that's pretty fucking dope. Now, I mean, look at the thing. The thing looks absolutely mint. It's it's super cool, man. Super clean. Oh my god, it's so low to the floor, too. This guy's a menace. This guy's an absolute madman driving this sick ass car around. I swear that's how they expect us to react when we actually see garbage like this. This guy took a perfectly good WRX rally car and made it the most impractical rolling salvage title I've ever seen. It's missing a front bumper already. Rear bumper is about to follow it along with the fucking side skirts and the oil pan. Oh, buddy. Bro, can can you can you record something for me? Go stand on that grass. I'm gonna do something cool. Proceeds to drive over fucking speed bump. That's it. That that that's your clip. That's that's it. Yeah. Did it look sick? Did it look cool as I rolled over a speed bump in my piece of shit? 
No, it didn't fucking look sick. It looks like shit. It sounds cool. Like, it sounds like you did some shit to the car to make it actually fun to drive. But then you completely fucking chopped its legs off. So now it's crawling around on all fours with nothing more than a couple kneecaps. This is bullshit. Ah, the... <sighs> If you want to stance out a car, go for stance. If you want to make a car fast, go for that. Don't do both. Don't do not do this. And also, look at his intercooler piping just fucking jiggling. He's, he has broken mounts. Look at that. That ain't supposed to flop around like that. Ain't supposed to happen. This car is going to end up in a junkyard in like a year or two. Guarantee it. His hood barely even fucking fits. <laughs> look, it's fucking flapping around. Piece of shit. All right. Well, let's see what the comments say. Let's see if I'm I'm the minority here and maybe I just don't like stance cars. Let's see. That's a big nope. That was just painful to watch. Bros FN, FM Fimic uh, is holding on for dear life. I don't know what that fucking says. FMIC Fimic? Yeah, uh, front mount intercooler. Ah, see, I fucking got it. Yeah, it is. Name suits the car. Broke. Dope because that's the I don't give a fuck about anyone else's lame ass opinion vibe. You have a cinnamon toast crunch picture and you have like probably 20 hate comments following that shit. Anyone else see the speed bump closing the hood? Yeah, the car's a piece of shit. We've already established that. Five comments in, we're all on the same page except for the cinnamon toast crunch guy, but whatever. Garbage, get out of my face. All right, next one. Don't drive like this. Don't put other people's lives in danger by swerving in and out of traffic. Let's take a look at what this fucking idiot has to say. This is the only time I ever feel free. Free from stress. Free from worry, free from everything. This is the only time I ever feel free, as I'm possibly killing a whole family full of kids. Look at, I know there's gonna be people saying, Drew, you go out and you speed on the freeway. Sometimes we see a man, we see a. First of all, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> No, you don't. And second of all, I'm never weaving in and out of traffic. Never, ever, ever. I know what, there's a right place and a right time. If I want to have fun and release a thousand horsepower down the freeway, I'm going to do so when the freeway is empty. So if anyone gets hurt, it's just me. I am not going to swerve in and out of traffic on a busy highway in what looks like rush hour traffic and potentially kill a family of kids. Well, not a family of kids. I would probably be bad because why would a kid be driving but a family with kids you know what i'm saying long story short you're not cool for driving like a fucking asshole to record an instagram clip and second of all you're not cool in general if you drive like this this is just stupid this isn't being a car guy this isn't being cool this doesn't mean you're a cool driver or a good driver this means you're a fucking idiot let's look at the comments it says ever felt free in a hospital probably not probably also handcuffed to the bed because you'll probably kill someone in the process imagine putting our lives in danger because you want to look cool definitely npc that is definitely Definitely some fucking 300 credit score of driving right there. <laughs> Until you rear end a family and then it's manslaughter. See, we're all on the same page here. This guy's a fucking idiot. Don't be an idiot like Sid 3DD. Double Ds. He likes two Ds. Keep smiling because life is a beautiful thing and there's so much to smile about. Let's see this garbage. One day, I'm gonna die. I realize that. But I'm gonna make sure before that day comes that I'm gonna fucking live. Driving around saying how one day he's gonna die. Just like everyone, it's kind of a part of life, you know? If you're born, there's a 100% chance you're going to die. But I doubt it'll be in that slow piece of shit car. Uh, let's see him take off, watch this. Building boost, building boost, building boost, and oh, sick, dude. Damn, he hit like 75 or 80 miles an hour right there. Look at that bad boy. I, I don't get why dudes post this fucking weird, soft, cringy shit. Like, I'm gonna fucking live, man, while I'm here. While I'm while I'm here, I'm living. Cool, man. Good job. It blew up your page, too. You got 300 likes here. God, man, this shit's just cringy. I want to read the, uh, oh, there's only two comments. <laughs> Sorry, that's what happens when it doesn't blow up. There's not much to read about this. Crying faces with fire. Is he burning in hell? I don't know. And then there's, yes, sir, which just seems like they just commented something random without even watching it. Yes, sir, that shit's fire. That's some heat right there. What's the, what's the reply to this? Praising him. He's praising him. Lord Jesus, praise this man. 
It's got 1320 video in there. Um, that would be longer than an Instagram video because it probably takes more than a minute for this thing to get down a track. Honda, Stance. This guy's going for all of the hashtags right here. Oh, and he wants a thousand likes. Well, he didn't quite hit that. And he also only have two comments. So that's also sus as well. I feel like 300 likes would render more than two comments, but whatever. Hopefully he's here fucking living. God, I'm, that shit's cringe. All right, uh, let's see. What else do we got? Oh, what does this one say? Oh God, <laughs> you know, I'm just going to play this one. This, this one's fucking bad. Your car has heard your story the most, and your gas pedal has felt your most deepest pain. I can't even read it with a straight face. <laughs> Yet people question why we get so connected and attached to our cars. Oh my fucking god. Some grown ass dude posted that shit, and it's like, fuck, bro, this shit is deep, man. My car has felt everything, whether I'm getting butt fucked or I'm about to go butt fuck someone. My car has felt it all. It's probably got some stains in the back seat from it. Oh my God, and there's comments that kind of like add on to it. At the end of the day, when we sit in our car slash truck after a long day pulled up into our driveway, that's our safe place. Go inside your room, go rub one out. That instantly reveals or <laughs> relieves all stress. What, what's the straight facts? That dude's speaking facts. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Every, you know, just get a therapist. Get it a, th a little bit. No, it, it's probably less expensive than this, you know, thousand dollar a month payment on this guy's six, four. Yeah. Therapist is like hundred dollars session. You get an hour. You can relieve everything. Actually fix your mental health and uh, you'll be good. You'll be solid after that. I, re I recommend that. Now driving can help. But uh, if you're really going through it, no better way than professional help. God damn, this shit's fucking weird. Why is it just also like a trend to be like depressed? I don't know. I've said it a thousand times, but it seems like everyone wants to like picture car people as being depressed. And I just think it's stupid. And not, not everyone deals with that, which is fine. Not everyone that's into cars has that. So I don't know. If you actually suffer from it, go get some help. Don't be stupid. I don't, I don't know if we have any more depressed ones. I don't know. But l l let's see this one. This one goes hard right here. This one, straight heat. Got a total of 200 likes. Straight fire. Let's check it out. Oh no, he didn't. He did not pull up to the Chevron, hard parked in his Accord, and fucking kill it, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what, though? It's a very fitting parking spot because you are going the extra mile with that 30 MPG in that Accord. Holy shit. You guys think he pumped to 87 or 91? Let's be real here, okay? Gas prices are expensive. You got a car like that? Probably don't have a lot of dough in your wallet. I'm guessing we're going to 87, maybe even a little water in there. That's what I'm guessing. God, that thing is so sick. Why does he record the street? Like he records like a bunch of empty park. Oh, you know what? That could be for his fallen brethren of the Accord gang. Maybe they were swerving in and out of traffic and they, they crashed. I don't know. Uh, can they even swerve? Can that car get over 65? I'm, I'm, I'm hard pressed to believe that that thing will get over 65 within the amount of time that it probably has in the gas tank. No, nah, I probably could do it. Maybe 67, I think. But yeah, why is he recording in the middle of fucking nowhere? I don't get that either. Uh, I feel like he just fucking like zoned out and was thinking that he had a, a wider car than he does or something. I don't know. Maybe he was embarrassed of his car. He was like, fuck, I can't show this thing for too long. People are going to know it's a shitbox fucking Accord. He's got the hood risers. He's got whatever wheels those are. Probably not real. Cool, man. Sick ass Accord. Oh, let's read a sick ass caption. You know, there's always a sick ass caption that accompanies a sick ass video like this. A wolf that is climbing a mountain is hungrier than a wolf already at the top. And then he put some snoring things, so I guess he's asleep. He clearly ain't climbing. They ain't climbing shit in that. Um, I, don't, I don't know if he's the one at the top or at the bottom, but he ain't climbing. He's sleeping because uh, he's in the 98 Accord. Then his hashtag, Static Accord, Static, J32A, J32, Static Club, low and slow. Low and slow, I'm so cool. And that thing ain't even low. Definitely slow, though. He's got one right, so he's 50-50, but uh, it definitely ain't low. I don't think you need to tag Static Club either, because you, you're fucking not low. Like, that looks like you chopped off an inch of your spring. Like, it, it's 
chill, buddy. Okay, chill. It's, 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 oh, well, there we go. A lot of people like it. Good job. At least he's got some strong supporters. So, thumbs up. All right, last one. Uh, it says deep thoughts while speeding. Let's let's read his thing. His brain says faster. Heart, huh? Faster. You'll be fine. The highway is open. Faster. What if I lose control? Then you'll finally be free. Oh my God, <laughs> dude! What is this? Is like a Fifty Shades of Grey book right here? Faster, faster. Fuck yeah! <laughs> like what, dude? No. Just no. If you want to speed, sure, but don't want to die. Like that's not right. Uh, let, let, Dare I read the comments on this one? Dare I? I mean, this one kind of blew up. This one got a lot of likes. So there's a lot of people out there that need some, some help one way or another. But uh, dare I read them? Yeah, let's read them. Chills every single time. What? Chills? Chills. What kind of world do we live in, man? What kind of world do we fucking live in? Oh my god, this shit is corny as fuck. Stop making everything about cars sad. My car is my only escape from reality. Come on, bro. Thank god, voice of reason. Holy crap, I thought it was just me. I was about to say, if these guys are all, like, fucking sucking this dude off because of this, I have zero faith for the car scene. Zero faith. He has also hood pins on a stock-looking hood. Okay. Do that. Do it. Good job. Nah, you should have switched the brain and the heart. This guy's like, nah, you got the roles wrong. You casted the wrong people. Should have switched them. Should have been smart about that one. Yeah, that's a casting problem. Behind the scenes. Nah, this hit hard as hell. Cause I do diss a lot. What card do you got? You got zero cars. You got zero pictures. Oh, and just to give you guys an insight of what the audio was in case you couldn't hear it. It's uh, anime. It's anime, of course, because that goes hand in hand. Oh, God. All right. Well, that's about all I can take for today. Um, any more of this? And I will actually have to go see a therapist because uh, this shit is mentally tiring. Anyways, guys, if you see any posts like this, tag them and we'll put them in a cringe video. I don't doubt that some people do go through their depression and actually are in the car scene and stuff. But I just feel like people don't wear it on their sleeve like that and post all about it and make it like their number one thing. That seems a little corny anyways guys if you are actually going through it go get some help seek professional help don't post stuff on instagram and expect this to help because you will be bombarded with some people that don't like it it is the internet after all anyways guys subscribe to see more videos like this one until next video peace